how Mel Gibson got his big break by random chance. Mel Gibson is one of the most well-known actors in Hollywood today. He's had a successful career that spanned many decades, and he's won numerous awards over the years, including the Academy Award for Best Picture and Best Director for Braveheart in 1995. Yet surprisingly, he actually got his big break into acting as a fluke. Gibson was born in America and moved to Australia when he was 12 years old. He had an interest in film growing up, and he actually went to college for film, studying at the National Institute of Dramatic Art in Sydney, Australia. After graduating, he was a struggling actor trying to survive. One day, a friend of his needed a ride to an audition that his friend was doing, so he offered to give him a ride. Unfortunately for Gibson, though, he'd gotten into a bar fight with a rugby team the night before, so when he showed up to drop off his friend to the audition, his face was completely mangled and he was bruised and black and blue. Well, the film that his friend was auditioning for was actually Mad Max, so when the casting people saw Gibson's beat up face, they told him, hey, we need a few freaks in this film, so would you be willing to come back once you're healed? Well, at the time, as a struggling actor, he needed any work, so even being an extra in a film was something he was willing to go for. Well, a couple weeks later, after he had healed, he showed back up, and when the director saw Mel Gibson's chiseled looks and his masculine face, he pretty much offered him the lead role on the spot. After a brief audition, Gibson earned a lead role, and that lead role in Mad Max catapulted his career into the success that he's had today. Mad Max was built on an extremely low budget of about $400,000, and yet it was a smashing success, grossing over $100 million worldwide, which was actually a Guinness World Record at the time for the highest ratio grossing profits compared to the budget. So what can we learn from this story? Is the key to success being lucky like Mel Gibson? Is the key to success being in the right place at the right time? Well, sort of. I heard someone once say there's a prepared place for a prepared person. You see, if you have a desire to be successful in a certain area, you never know when your opportunity is going to strike. Mel Gibson wanted to be an actor. You know, he'd studied it in college. He was trying to get acting roles. And yet the acting role, that was his big break that catapulted him into major success, fell right into his lap. He didn't plan for it. He didn't expect it to happen. It fell into his lap by chance. So, you know, if you want to be successful in a certain area, you need to prepare yourself for your opportunity because you never know when your opportunity is going to strike. Learn the skills that you need to learn. Get the right tools that will equip you for success. Be prepared. And maybe when you least suspect it, your big break will fall right into your lap and you'll be able to take advantage of that situation just like Mel Gibson and never look back.